Hi. Thank you, the Board of Supervisor and Bob uh, Beck and Andrew for allowing us a voice. My name is Misun Boyce and I'm uh, partners with Park Ulrich on uh, Marseille. Um, I'll try to speak quickly, but I get nervous, so I made some notes. But when Park and I decided to submit to build on Marseille, um, we knew we were, were ahead of the development, and the island had, the island had challenges, but we also believe that a lot of potential. We believe in the vision uh, shared with us by Rich Rivetti and, and Tida, and in partnership with Sherry Williams, and her vision, and belief, belief in the island and the future of the island. We thought it'd be easy to get investors, but it really wasn't because when we tried to explain to them that we were going to do something on Treasure Island um, they, and containers, they really didn't think that it would be wise. But Park and I uh, dug into our savings and we took, I even took a second out on my house uh, to be in and, and believed in the future. Uh, through the partnership with Sherry and with Tida, uh, we believe that uh, we've been part of the community um, hiring, you know, Mike. Uh, uh, a veterans program, veterans like Mike Bartel and working with Job Corps and, and try, ha, trying to hire as many of the local island residents and be part of the community and also supporting the coming of the circus to really bring awareness of the island to the public. Um, but, but we need more people from all around the city, both from an employee standpoint and from a business standpoint. We've spent thousands and thousands of dollars in PR just to get our name out there so that we could be successful as a business. Um, speaking of the risk that we took, the construction is already um, shutting down the road, has affected 50% of our businesses, so we spend more money on PR to try to build more of the business. Again, try to bring customers from both East Bay and West Bay anywhere we can. We're dealing with vandals and graffiti and car breaking in and, and all these kind of challenges that make it difficult for a business like ours. Um, even water shutdowns, electrical shutdowns. Um, but I want to get back to the numbers. Um, ultimately, there's a lot of high emotions and ups, people are upset about this, but if we take just say $6 a day per employee, we have 35 employees at $365, 360 days a year, give five days for holidays. That's about, for us, $75,600 that we're going to have to pay um, starting at 20, uh, in, 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 when the toll road comes. In a five year period, that's going to be through almost $378,000 that we're going to have to pay out of pocket for this toll, and, and this is our little small business. In 10 years, that'll be about a million eight, almost $2 million that we will be paying for something that isn't quite fully developed yet. Um, in the projected of 25,000 residents, there's going to be approximately, let's say estimating a $6 a day, 365 days a year, that comes to $150,000 a day that they'll be getting at $54,750,000 that they'll be getting per year from the new residents once it's developed and all the 25,000 residents live on the island. And in five years, that represents $273,570,000 that they'll be getting for the toll. And in 10 years, that'll be $1,368,750,000. That's when all the residents are here. So real quick in closing, my question to you is, what is the true cost for this that we're gonna have to burden, uh, share this burden before the residents even arrive that we're gonna have to carry? Um, setting a precedent uh, for all other neighborhoods. If you have a business or a resident in Mission District or Knob Hill, are you going to charge them, you know, fees and tolls to get into their neighborhood and to do business and to hire employees? I, I'm affected both from vendors that already don't even want to stop here, as well as um, my employees. I'm going to have to pay for their fault because they're not going to be able to afford it. I won't be able to hire employees. I mean, it will ne negatively impact us in multiple ways, not just ourselves. So. I just ask that you take all that into consideration, and I know that this was approved through Jane Kim. I would like to ask, um, I know Matt Haney is the new supervisor for our region, and would like to hear what he has to say, and hopefully you'll allow the business of voice. Yeah.